All right, and one final time, this is Mission Control Houston getting some views from the exterior of the space station right now. As we were planning on seeing a couple of spacewalkers uh, in these camera views, but if you're just now tuning in, we are not doing a spacewalk today. The call was made to, to stand down a little after 4 a.m. Central, 5 a.m. Eastern. Uh, once the trajectory officer here in Mission Control Houston got some updated tracking data, on a piece of debris from a Russian frigate upper stage. Uh, the new tracking data showed it passing uh, as close as a little less than a quarter of a mile away from the space station. Uh, and armed with that new data, the, the teams made the call to stand down from today's spacewalk. Uh, when the call was made, we were already well into our spacewalk preparations. Both Frank Rubio and Josh Cassida uh, had suited up in their extravehicular mobility units, those big white suits in the Quest airlock and we're moving into their pre-breathe protocol, getting ready uh, to spend about seven hours walking out in the vacuum of space. Uh, but then the teams with this new tracking data made the call to stand down from today's spacewalk so we could go and perform a PDAM, a predetermined debris avoidance maneuver, essentially using thrusters uh, on the Progress spacecraft currently docked to the station to raise the station's orbit and move out of the predicted track of this space debris. Um, so we don't have an exact time for when this maneuver is going to happen. Our targeted time right now is 7.42 a.m. Central, 8.42 a.m. Eastern. That could change uh, as they continue to, again, you have to take a lot of different variables into account, not just getting out of the way of this debris, making sure you're not putting yourself in the path of anything else, um, and also taking into account any reboosts that were planned down the road um, so we could potentially raise it enough to accomplish what that reboost had been planned to do anyway. So they're, they're walking through all of those different calculations and then we're expecting that uh, debris avoidance maneuver to happen within the next two hours or so. Uh, the time of closest approach um, was about 10.17 a.m. Central, 11.17 a.m. Eastern. That time of closest approach is just the time when we predict it would pass, the, the piece of debris would pass the closest to the space station. So uh, several hours from now, um, and several hours after we plan the reboost to take place. Um, so that will be coming up. Stay tuned to uh, NASA and Space Station social media and the, the Space Station blog will be able to provide you details uh, of that debris avoidance maneuver after it happens. Everything from the time of ignition, how long the burn happened, and what our change in altitude for the station is. Um, so all of that still to come. Uh, but again, keys today, no spacewalk today. The teams will step into replanning, see if there's another opportunity to do the spacewalk later this week, as uh, they were able to get the crew out of their suits and still a lot of that hardware is still in the Quest airlock. So uh, after we're through all of the steps required for this debris avoidance, they'll be able to start stepping through the spacewalk uh, preparations and see if we have an opportunity later this week. So with that, Never a dull day on board the International Space Station. Stay tuned to our social media as we give you some continued updates on the situation. Uh, the crew not in danger and the station about to move out of the way uh, of this debris. Um, so not the first time we've done this and won't be the last, but this just, again, speaking to those capabilities and some of the realities of operating in low Earth orbit. So no spacewalk today. Stay tuned. We'll tell you when another one's coming up. Stay tuned and we'll provide continued details on this debris avoidance maneuver. For now, though, we are going to go ahead and sign off. We'll see if we're back with you a little bit later this week. For now, though, signing off, this is Mission Control Houston.